Calculus, find velocity of train from table of acceleration values using Riemann sum. This is a problem we had from a recent test, and students overall did pretty well on this, but there are some things that we need to review, always do better. Here we have our table. It says a heavy train initially stopped, begins moving. And so what this means is that initially stopped, this means that our initial velocity, v sub zero, is equal to zero. That's, that's important. The table above shows the train's acceleration in miles per hour per hour as a function of time measured in hours. So here we have in the lower row, acceleration in miles per hour per hour. And we have let f t equal the integral from zero to t of a of x dx. And then we have these three problems, a, b, and c. Use the a as use the midpoint Riemann sum with five subdivisions of equal lengths approximately f of one. So this takes advantage of the relationship between position, velocity, and acceleration. Well, to eliminate the rate, we need to integrate. And so an acceleration is a rate, but it's a rate of a rate of change. And so the integral is going to be velocity. So when we take the integral of the acceleration, we're going to get a velocity or speed. And so explain what f of 1 is and give its units of measure. So we're going to have, we can just enter, answer this one first. Okay, f of 1 is going to be speed or velocity. And I think either one of these would be correct at this point of train after one hour and what would be the unit speed? miles per hour in, I'll just put MPH, that's an acronym that everybody understand. okay? So that's going to be it. Is speed or velocity a better indicator? Well, velocity is more of a calculus word. Speed is a more of a real world use word. I think in this instance, interchangeably, they would be acceptable. Okay, a use of midpoint Riemann sum with five subdivisions of equal length to approximate f of 1. So I'm going to just use the language of approximate here. I'm going to answer a up above here. So approximation of f of 1 is going to be equal to, that's going to be v sub 0, which is 0. Okay, And it says use five subdivisions. So at this point, what I tell my students is, you have five subdivisions, just set it up by drawing five blanks. One blank, two blanks, three blanks, four blanks, five blanks. And I saw students would, anyway, I'm going to show next. So let's go find our divisions and units. We already know they're going to be miles per hour. Now, five subdivisions. Here we have one hour divided in five parts. We're going to get one fifth or 0.2. And so each subdivision is going to be 0.2 hours. I think it's going to be 60 minutes divided by 5. That's 12 minutes each. And then our mid value is going to be 90. 
So our first one, we're going to have our value of 2 times our mid value 90. And then all these successive intervals are going to be 0.2 hours in length. So 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. And then in our second interval, our second sub interval, we have 80 as a mid value. In our third sub interval, from 0 0.4 to 0 0.6, we also have 80 as a mid value. And then our fourth sub interval from 0 0.6 to 0 0.8, we have our sub interval is 40. And our final sub interval from 0 0.8 to 1 hours is going to have a mid value of 10. So that's going to be it. And really, according to AP standards, we've done all we need to do. Now, if you want to, we could figure out what these are and get a numerical value just for real world understanding what's going on. So 0 0.2 times 90 is going to be 18. And then 0 0.2 times 80 would be 16. 0 0.2 times 80 would be another 16. 0 0.2 times 40 would be 8. And finally, 0 0.2 times 10 would be 2. So I think this ends up being 60 miles per hour, right? Yeah. Anyway, so we've answered A and B, C. And the last one in a free response problem, C, part C or D, is usually a little bit different, a little bit out of sync, requires another level of thinking. Assume the acceleration is constant interval from 0 to 0 0.2. How far does the train travel during this interval? Include the units of measure. Well, we already know the velocity at time 0 is going to be 0. That's how the train is stopped. And if we are able to find the velocity after 0.2 hours, we're going to be able to use our initial velocity and our final velocity to get an average velocity. So 0 to 0.2 of a of x dx. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 times 90 equals 18 miles per hour. And graphically, what's going on here is we have a train that starts out at zero miles per hour, goes up, acceleration is constant, so the thing's going to look like this. And after 0.2 hours, the train is going 18 miles per hour. And at 0.1 hours, the train is going to be traveling its average velocity over this interval of 9 miles per hour. So average velocity is equal to 0 plus 18 over 2 is going to be equal to 9 miles per hour. Okay, so uh, distance traveled I'll put distance equals 9 miles per hour times the amount of time traveled, which is 0.2 hours. 
and hours over hours cancel. And so what we have is nine times 0.2 or 1.8 miles. So that is going to be our answer. Okay. And this problem shouldn't be too hard. I hope this has been helpful to you. Good luck. Thanks for viewing.